Should you purchase the Godway or Bigod EXN or should you purchase the Sherman? If you want to know a little bit more about my opinion between these two amazing wheels, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk a little bit more about the Godway Bigod EXN and compare to the Sherman. After I receive a message from ASO saying that it was getting a bit confused between getting the Sherman or the Bigod EXN and I thought that more people will be thinking about this and after also the video of Mickey I really wanted to give my idea and my opinion about these two amazing wheels and I had the opportunity to ride basically this wheel for 300 kilometers and I simply simply love it if you want to know a little bit more about my experience and everything about this one definitely check the other video that I've done the review of the Bigod EXN but today is just putting side by side why you should purchase this one and why you should purchase the Sherman and trying to decide which one is the best for you like I said in the other video this wheel with 32 kilos 0.8 it's heavy I can't say that it's light but it continue to be easy to just lift it up if it makes sense when you go to the Sherman is already much more problematic even if you have two handles that is good but those three extra kilos you already feel it and if we go to the Bigod he oh. said you feel it even more. Oh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> If you need to go up, this is much, much better than the um, Sherman. When we talk about the trolley handle, this trolley handle I have already covered is ridiculous, but it's much, much better than the trolley handle that you'll find on the RS. If I put side by side with the trolley handle on the Sherman, it's much, much inferior. It's rubbish. So if you think about the trolley handle, you are much better with the Sherman. Obviously, with this one, you don't have a screen. You have is on the back of the wheel. You can see the voltage and obviously you hear new you need to start understanding what that voltage means in percentage of your battery so I don't understand why they didn't put there like a percentage of battery in opposite to have voltages because I think it will be more interesting for majority of us but they decide in this way is better than nothing but it, I just wanted to say is on the back so it's hard to check that number on the Sherman is on the front so much much better and that screen that you can just adjust everything and uh, changing the riding experience it's simply amazing when when we talk about the riding experience i have to say that they have a lot of things in common uh, the sherman gives you much more stability obviously but this gives you something that the sherman will never be able to give is how easy it is to maneuver this wheel doesn't feel like a 32 kilos wheel it feels like you are on the msx on the msp but refined so if you put side by side i don't want to ride anymore my msp is similar but is better it's smoother the way that it curves is smoother and having that extra battery that you have on the EXN is also simply simply amazing if you need to do a little bit more miles or if you want to really push hard you are less time thinking if you are on the, that level that is starting to get really dangerous to really push hard your wheel on the Sherman obviously you are going to get more miles than this one the experience of acceleration and braking is similar I will say that this one in the beginning can feel a little bit more torquey than the Sherman because it's also related with your motor but after I believe that the Sherman is slightly stronger the speed so you can go even faster I will always go faster on the Sherman than on this one both of wheels they are quite bouncy so when you get a hole you really feel that the wheels they are just uh, jumping around so that experience will be exactly the same when we talk about the front light this front light is rubbish but it's really easy to open like you could see I could just push it and open the front light okay and it's really really easy to just change the bulb so you can have a much better front light on the Sherman it's also very easy to try to make and having a better front light but the front light on the Sherman is much superior than this one I never tried to change the bulb on the EXN but I know that it's possible and you can find on AliExpress if I'm not wrong when we talk about the backlight I think that the backlight on the Sherman is much much better even if I really hate that plastic it feels really really cheap and reminds me a bit of Superman but besides that it's better than this one but that is a thing that 
that I prefer on the EXN than on the Sherman. That is those uh, mini jacks connections. I think they are not the best for waterproofing, like I said in the past. On this case, they are all on the inside of the wheel and I didn't have any problems with water in 300 kilometers on this one and 500 kilometers on the EXN. When we talk about tires, they are exactly the same as if you look to the Sherman in street tire and here you have the street tire that you have also on that Sherman but I'll prefer to have seen here an off-road tire because I think the wheel will be much much better and much more grippy this tire is simply simply amazing even raining a lot is really good in normal roads but if you try to go off-road and you try to go on grass slightly muddy is really really dangerous and if it's icy I had that experience forget it is not going to grab anything you're just going to fall on the floor like I've done. Another thing that I really like on the EXN and I hate on the Sherman is that I have some speakers inside this wheel. Let's put another one. And you can tell me that I can use an external speaker, but that is another thing that I have to charge and I have already to charge my phone, my tablet, my cameras, my drone, my, my lights. It's too many things that I need to do it. So because of that, I prefer a solution that I have everything in once. And another thing about these speakers, they are really, really loud. I believe that I share with you guys that on the video of the EX, check it there. You'll be able to have an idea because the speakers are exactly the same and the experience is exactly the same they are amazing to hear your um, GPS and another thing that I want just to point it out that is much better on the Sherman that is on the EXN is the beepings so the beepings on the Sherman they are exactly on the middle on the top so what happened is really really loud you can really ride fast and you can hear the beepings if you reach the end of your wheel. In this case, you are not able to really hear if you are in the middle of the traffic. It's really, really difficult to hear. So because of that, mm, I'm not really convinced about it. So it's just to point it out. They are loud, okay? If you put side by side with other wheels, you can definitely hear much, much better on the EXN than in other wheels. But if you put side by side with the Sherman, it's much, much better on the Sherman than on the EXN. You decided what is more important for you if you want more stability, more speed, more range, and better front light, definitely choose the Sherman. But if you want more maneuverability, it's lighter to go upstairs, and you want speakers on a wheel, this wheel is for you and obviously if you want to save some buckets this is the wheel for you if you have any comments or any ideas for videos please leave in the comments below my name is marco this is math pack if it's your first time here don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and i hope to see you in the next one